my uh, top stow Aegean out today. <clears throat> I haven't had it out for a while, so I'm going to take it out. Um, weather's not too bad. There's about a five mile an hour breeze. Um, if you watched any of my other videos on this machine, you know I did have some issues out of the box with the compass. Uh, I had a flyaway, but after going into Mission Planner and uploading new firmware and doing some tweaking, um, this last time I had this bird out, it was rock solid, but that was several months ago, so I want to get it up in the air today and see if she's still flying good. Alright, so let's get her up in the air and we'll see how, how it goes. Okay, I have a steady, slow, yellow and green blinking. That means she's been calibrated and she's acquired satellites. This is a self-calibrating drone, no need to do the dance. So, we're ready to get her in the air. Um, let me get the camera set to take pictures. I'm going to take a few snapshots. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Alright. You have to arm this thing in manual mode. So it's in manual mode. Lower joystick to the left. Toggle the yellow. You give her throttle. Okay, this is manual mode. I'm going to put an altitude hold. It's altitude hold. You can see the wind wanting to push it. I'll put it in GPS. Okay, that's in GPS right there. You can tell that breeze is blowing it a little bit. But all in all, it's pretty rock solid. Yeah, I can still see she's trying to fight the wind, but she's doing all right. Well, she's really blowing back this way. Send her back out. I got her up a little high. There's probably more wind up there, too. Bring her down a little bit. All right, leave her there for a minute. Give her some y'all, take some pictures. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but she's holding, holding rock solid. She's moving a little bit, because it's probably windier up there, but, you know, all in all, I'm not touching throttles or nothing. I'm just giving her y'all and taking some photos.
Yeah, I can see that one's bone that's picked up some. She's holding her own. Hold him pretty good. She's a little wobbly. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in altitude hold mode. See, it's not as it's moving, but it's not as wobbly because it's not fighting for position. Okay, now to land it, I find it's a lot easier to land it in manual mode. <laughs> Wants to tip over in GPS mode. So that was a little flight of the Tosto Aegean. I wanted to take it back up again and do some actual filming with this camera, but since it's a little breezy, we'll just call it at that. Turn this off. So, this is the Tosto Aegean. Um, I went in Mission Planner to fix the compass issues. I installed Tiersen CX-20 parameters and that really helped this thing a lot. So I'm really happy I, I did that and happy and thankful for all the help I got by some guys online that kind of walked me through it. So um, I like this bird. I mean I'm going to say it's my second favorite next to my Phantom. Just It's the only other GPS quad I have. But I need to really fly a lot more than what I do. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, if, if you're thinking about it, or if you have one, or you just have any questions about it, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, you can pick these GPS quads up with the brush motors for little over 200 if you look so all right well i appreciate you watching and i'll put some uh, photos here at the end of the video that i just took from this flight all right thanks